The job is to walk out of here and say, okay, maybe I don't agree with what he said, but how can I prove him wrong? And that's your job. All right? All right. Any rugby players in here? Any rugby boys in here? Not, not that I'm discriminating against the women, but did you notice that the campus had a distinct smell of vomit last night? <laughs> the night that the campus smelled like vomit. And that's because the rugby boys were off doing rugby boy things, which included, apparently, either they vomit a lot or they all purchase the same cologne that has the distinct smell of okay vomit. I'm not sure which it was. And then they were all in the nightclub last night, all in score, right? Drunk. There's not as so much vomit there. I think those who had vomited too much probably didn't make it to the next leg. But anyway, you know, watching all those rugby guys really made me realize that I've missed my true calling in life. I want to be a rugby boy. So, um, so I'm thinking about trying out the rugby team. Yeah, is that a good idea? Yeah. What? What? I've got space in the girls' rugby team. <laughs> right, here, guys, right. There's like 200 people in the boys' rugby team, but the girls' rugby team is looking for people. Yeah. So how many of you guys think it's a good idea for me to drop the rugby team? Yeah? How many of you think I will get absolutely tweaked beyond belief, bent, broken, and... Yeah. Right. So why, man, why do you think it's a good idea for me to drop the <laughs> rugby Are you trying to get rid of me? Right. Hey, I'm going to go parachute without a parachute. How many of you think it's a good idea? Right. Okay, so you do care about me. All right, just getting worried. No, but seriously, I'm going to go out and drop the rugby team. Is that a bad idea? Is it? I know I want. I know I want to do it, right? But let's be honest. I'm 40 years old. I'm not the most macho guy in the world. And other than thinking the rugby guys are kind of hot, not a lot of reason to go out there, is there? So is this a good idea? How many of you think, really think it's a good idea? Like you, you would encourage me to say, Eric, I definitely think you should travel around with you. Alright, so you don't think it's a good idea. Maybe in your 40s? I'm not in my 40s yet, but I'm not. You can have an advantage in the slack here. I'm not going to be in the old No, I'm going to travel to the university level. Mm. Now, you all agree it's a bad idea for me to try out for the rugby team, but would any of you, and if you want for a moment, pretend that I'm a student? I know it's hard to do. But would any of you say to me, you know, Eric, you shouldn't be able to try out for the rugby team because the reality is you're going to get tweaked. And so we should stop you from trying out for the rugby team. Would any of you agree that that would be a good statement? Would any of you want to create a law that says I should not be able to try out for the rugby team because I don't meet the basic requirements because I'm going to get tweaked? Would any of you want to create an institutional rule, maybe not a law like Eric go to jail, but like the institution says, University of Bath says, people like Eric can't try out the rugby team. None. How about this? I am the biggest flaming gay guy you have ever met. Just imagine that for a minute. I know it's kind of hard to do. And, um, and I decide that I want to play for the men's rugby team here at the University of Bath. Any of you think, that gay men should not be able to play for the University of Bath rugby team. You all think it's okay for gay guys to play for the rugby. Wasn't a lot of black guys in the rugby initiation last night. Do they, um, they discriminate against black guys? In fact, I didn't see any. Or is that just a, is that just a reflection of the fact that this is Bath? Yeah. 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 I don't think so either. But if you look at the poster, right? It's like 60% colored people. Yeah. I think they got one black guy in there twice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend we had a lot of black students on campus. How many of you think that we should have a separate team for the black guys and a separate team for the white guys? Nobody? None of you. How many of you think that in, let's say, American basketball, black men have an advantage over white men because they're capable of jumping higher. Be honest. <coughs> okay. 
How many of you think that in uh, the 100 meter dash, black men have an advantage over white men because they're able to sprint faster? Okay. How many of you now think that in the Olympics, we should have the black men's 100 meter dash and the white men's 100 meter dash? Nobody. So even though you as a class, collectively, about 70% or so of you said that black men have an advantage, <coughs> overall, there's a somatic meaning body difference, an ability that black men have to sprint faster than white men, yet they should still be integrated with white men in a men's 100. Which, by the way, means that very few white men, whether it's because white men really are slower or because there's cultural reasons, as sociologists would say, that prevent white men from running this fast. Big debate about that. Where you fall on that side of the debate really doesn't concern me for this particular argument. <coughs> so even though you as a class overall believe that black men have an advantage over white men, <coughs> and it somewhat shows in the 100 meters, let's say, you don't think there should be a black and a white 100 meter dash? Why not? I mean, how unfair is it for me as a 100 meter dash guy <coughs> Maybe I'm dashing, but I'm not good at the dash. Yeah, maybe I'm not that dashing. Uh, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Appropriate time call there. Appreciate it. <laughs> How many of you think, um, you know, like if I were to file a lawsuit, you know, that I'm being discriminated against because I can't play, I can't run the 100 meters, I can't make it that far because I'm not black? <coughs> How many of you think that um, straight men, as a group, have more of an advantage than gay men, as a group? Like, they're bigger, buffer, better athletes. Be honest. Okay. That's just stereotypical. Yeah, stereotypical. Uh, stereotype. How many of you think lesbian women make better rugby players than heterosexual women? <laughs> but that's not a stereotype. <laughs> So, so you've all come to the consensus that gay men are equally as athletic as equally as athletic. Did you say that word? Athletic. athletic. That's it. Equally as athletic as straight men, but lesbian women still have this <coughs> big butch sort of. I'm the happiest man. Today is the 63rd best day of my life because the new house that my partner and I bought in Kingsham, there were some sort of homophobe neighbors next door. I woke up this morning. There was a moving van. They moved out. Very pleased about this. Getting ready to come to uni today, and this woman comes running over to me with her hands stretched out and piercings all over her face and says, Hi, I'm Ellen, your new neighbor. And I said, Fantastic. My boyfriend and I live there. And she says, Great, my girlfriend and I already live there. I'm like, yes. <laughs> 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 I'm folks around. <laughs> Very happy boy today. <laughs> Lesbian neighbors are the best because you can play your music really loud and then be like, Hey, that's cool. Just make sure it's something like, you know, Abel Levine or something like that. They, you know, they're great. Oh, lesbian neighbors are awesome. <laughs> so at any rate, so maybe is it possible, there's still just a little bit of a stereotype about lesbians being more athletic than straight women? Or maybe there actually is something physiological. Again, not important, don't care. It's a debate we'll have another day. We will have that debate next year, second year. How many of you think that women should play for the men's rugby team, right? Well, anyway, none of you believe that women should play for the men's rugby team? Why not? I'd be scared. Why? I'd be scared. I know you'd be scared, but why shouldn't they be allowed to play? Because we've got the men's rugby team. The men wouldn't tackle them properly, it'd be that sort of like, they wouldn't go in hard, it'd be like the girl, and that's not what you're going to do for the girl. We'd have to do so many things and stuff, and do as much as they do, and I'm not going to Okay. I've got a question for you, though. Do white men have to do a lot more work than black men to be as good as them in 100 meters? I got a question for you. Do um, black men in the NBA not body chuck white men as hard because they're softer? They're not, they're not. White men aren't sort of like 
There's a lot of big white guys in the NBA as well. There's a lot of big women too. <coughs> so, if I get you right, if I'm a guy that's this big, and I want to play rugby, you say, it's cool, go play with the men's rugby team, you have every right to try out for that team, and if I make it on that team, all will be equal. <laughs> we now have a common point okay, that you great that short people are disabled. <laughs> now, clearly you didn't mean it that way. What you meant was having a lesser ability, right? There you go, lesser ability. Right. And by the way, you're allowed to make that comment. <laughs> She's the only one in this room that's allowed to make fun of disabled people until otherwise spoken. Nah, I make fun of disabled people. <laughs> you and I together to be a team. <laughs> what am I going to call you? I did not better. Stop. Me and one of my runners who's got um, missing lower half of his bottom leg. <laughs> yeah, that makes a weird runner, doesn't it? <laughs> He's missing the lower half of one of his legs. So we run the other, both right about right about equal. So and I'm his coach and he's a good friend and he bought me a hat and on one side it says gay on the other side it says gimp. So that's where you run. I was running the side of his legs so he doesn't get tripped up and so it's gay again. It's kinda of, is that kinda of cute? <laughs> but then you would think you would think but having two legs, when we get to the end of the race, I take off and beat him. But no, it's just the other way around. He takes off and sprints on the <laughs> Maybe just because I'm old. All right, so, so the way we have it now is a very short guy go out and try out for the rugby team with all these big, huge guys and a very big woman can't. Does this strike you as odd? Huh? When I put it like that, well, that's, that is my job, is to put things in a way that's sort of tweaky, right? Yes. That's what I pay for, is to sort of mess with your minds this way, when I put it that way. But let me ask you another question. Is there anything wrong with the way I put it? No, but you do sort of look at yourself and look at a sport and think what's right for me. And if you're a tiny little man, <laughs> you might not think that rugby is the sport that you like to play. You might not, but you might think, but the woman's team I could play on. Huh? Yeah, except you're a man. So you can Why should that matter? Should it matter? Yeah. Why? I think it would be quite good if they have grief on like size. And like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, I play rugby and some of the girls are like, I'm like, perfect against them. And they're incredibly because of the smallest one on the pitch. I'm just like, I don't want to tackle them. So it's like more superior than Okay, let me, let me see if I got what you're saying. Right. So basically, I'd rather tackle a little guy than a massive. So you're a rugby -er, Yeah. right? And when a giant rugby -er comes running at you, yeah. you have a little bit of fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's called logic. That's good. <laughs> Common sense, right? So you would actually kind of like to play on a team where everybody's about the same size so you wouldn't get tweaked. Yeah. Okay, good question. Here's another question for you. Is the purpose of sport to score goals? Or, is, by the way, the purpose of sport is not to build team cohesion and efficacy and all that crap. That's not what we play sport for, not at this level. We play sport to win. All right. That's a lecture again you'll get all next year. But is the purpose of your team to win, or is the purpose of your team to tweak other people? Did you put people in the I think it's is the purpose of your team to win? No, it's, it's to win. Like, it's to win. You don't deliberately go up and be like, I'm going to hurt her. So then why don't we move to a system in which athletes play based off of body size categorization? Not sexuality, not race, and not gender. It's quite demeaning though, if you're a little man, and everyone else on your team is talking to a girl, you would have to feel that you weren't really a man. A man. <laughs>